Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm Brian Ritz. Today I get to walk you around a brand new 2023 Newmar Superstar 4065. Now something exciting that's happening today is we are actually presenting out of the Fountain, Colorado location. So for those of you who are coming from southern states, New Mexico, uh, Texas, Oklahoma, parts of Arizona, California, um, instead of having to come all the way 40 miles north of Denver, saving yourself about two hours of driving, you can come to the Fountain, Colorado location. We have two phenomenal salesmen here who are very knowledgeable on all of our product lines. This is also a full-fledged Freightliner dealership across the street, so we have a chassis service department as well as a house service department and house sales department. This is a full line Newmar dealership, so everything from the Bay Star Sport all the way up to the Newmar King Air can be sold out of this location. And on top of that, if you're looking at our website, you see a coach that you like, you can absolutely call Nathan Clark or Tony Martinez and uh, they can have that coach transferred from any location to here so you can take delivery from here and build a relationship with this service department, this, uh, this location, rather than building it with one you're never going to go to for service. So just kind of a fun thing we're doing today coming up to Fountain. But let's go ahead and start talking about this motorhome. So as I mentioned, mentioned earlier, 2023 Newmar Superstar 4065. Brand new coach. Now on the outside here while we got these open, two Gerard Nova awnings. Those are going to be integrated dual pitch awnings. They are power extend, power attract with the LED light bar down below. They do have built in wind sensors. So if they start bouncing around a little bit too much, they will go ahead and retract themselves. I'm going to go ahead and turn on these lights down below. So I actually have these on my fifth wheel. I absolutely love having awning lights. You know, if you have them out at night, it creates a nice atmosphere to relax in. And then we do get the remote control to extend and retract them. Now the Gerard Nova awnings are kind of interesting because it is actually two separate awnings. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this front one. And as you see, the rear one is still retracting. Now this is kind of a cool feature because let's say you're in, you know, kind of a crowded campground, you have a tree here, something like that. You can still use one of your awnings as long as you have space and keep the other one retracted. There we go. Now another option that we have on this coach is the carefree window awnings. So those are manual extend, manual retract awnings. Basically meant to keep the sun from beating into the coach and warming it up on those hot summer days. Now every window on this coach behind these dual or these window awnings is going to be a frameless dual pane tinted window. So one, it keeps the sun from really blinding in there. The other thing it does is a little bit better insulation to keep sound out, keep it warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Let's go ahead and start opening some compartments here. Up front, nice big storage compartment. All of our compartments are going to be carpet lined. Keep your things from sliding around causing damage while you're in transit. Now this coach does have the option for the hot water line right up here. So if you need hot water, spray off the bugs off the coach when you get to your campground, we do have that option on this Superstar. Next compartment, another very big storage. Keep going back. More storage. Now in this compartment, we're also gonna see we have the rod to extend and retract those window awnings, air hose. So on this motorhome, there is an air compressor built in. So if you need to do things like fill up tires, beach toys, that kind of stuff, we actually have air built into the motorhome and you can use that air, air hose to do so. Next compartment, we have a 43 inch Samsung HD TV that is going to be a 4K smart TV. So you can connect it to the internet, use all of your streaming services, Hulu, Netflix, Peacock, whatever you're using nowadays. There's also a Bose Solo, 5, or Solo 7 soundbar, so you can get a little bit better sound quality than what you would get out of the speakers of the TV. Now you can set that up to use either the dash radio as a sound source, this TV, or you can connect it to Bluetooth on your phone and use your phone as a sound source if you're just looking for music out here. Another thing, we have a valve built right there. Right behind this TV is your 150 gallon fresh water tank. So when it's time to winterize it, or you're done camping for a week or so, you can open that up, drain all the water out of there. That way you don't have water just sitting in the tank.
coming back a little bit farther. So one of the things that's kind of cool about a Superstar that really no one else is doing is we actually have a true pass-through storage bay. Now this is an option having the pull-out tray. If you didn't have this, it would just be empty in, empty in there and you could slide stuff underneath the frame rails as a pass-through storage. But having the tray does optimize it a little bit, makes it easier to get to the items that are kind of deeper in there. In this compartment, we also have the central vacuum system. So inside the coach, there's a whole network of uh, lines to vacuum this coach. You can also hook up a hose out here if you need to vacuum out your tow vehicle or just your compartments. You can do it all with the built-in system. Next compartment, more pass-through storage. Now in here right now, we do have a couple different hitch receivers. So on the back of this motorhome, we have a three inch receiver. Now this one is going to be a three inch to two inch. So if you're just gonna be towing a vehicle using a receiver style tow bar, you just connect this up. And then we also have this big guy. Now this is a 20,000 pound hitch. All right, we have a two inch on the top and a two and five sixteenths on the bottom. And then pull the lever. And one of the great things about the new Mars Superstar, more storage in the rear cap. So up here we have some shelves. I like to think of this as kind of your emergency situation compartment. So a couple extra quarts of oil, maybe an extra belt, fuel water separator, um, oil filter, whatever you can think of. This is a great place to keep those items. And then down below, nice long storage here, fishing rods, collapsible ladder. Close this up. So on this particular coach, we do have the OmniView 360 camera system. So that's gonna incorporate six cameras, one on the front, one on each, well, two on each side, and then one on the back. So that's, the first one is gonna be this camera here. And then up top, we have another camera. That gives us two different angles to look at where we're going when we're backing up. So one of them can actually shoot down right on top of the hitch. So if you're trying to back the coach up to a trailer, you can see where that, that ball is, help you, um, help you get lined up a little bit easier. Down below, three inch receiver, as I mentioned, 20,000 pound towing capacity. To the left of that, we've got the connection for trailer cameras. So if you're pulling a big trailer that has cameras on it, we can connect it there and go ahead and view those cameras on the dash inside of the motorhome. Next to that, seven pin connector for your trailer brakes and trailer lights. A four pin connector if you're just gonna be using lights. And these are also gonna be the connections you use if you set up a tow vehicle for your tow vehicle lights and brakes. Coming over to the driver's side, the opposite of our pass-through storage. Now in here we have a couple more things from Numar. So a rug and then four extra floor tiles. If you're ever to drop something, crack a tile somehow, um, we do, or Numar does throw in extra tiles so you can have them replaced easily with minimal downtime. Now, before we keep moving forward, I wanna point out this is a custom paint scheme. So one really cool thing that Numar does is if you don't like their paint schemes or their color choices, we can pick any color in their book and put it on a coach. So let's say you see a red that you like on a Dutch star. We can take it and replace the blue line with the red line. Wouldn't recommend it with this color scheme. But we can pick any color or we can paint it one solid color, completely up to you. But Numar is very flexible with that. The only things we can't change, well there's one thing we can't change and that's the actual design unless we paint it one solid color. And then the other thing we can't do is matte paint. It has to be a high gloss. Moving forward. Whoop. Just a nice storage compartment here for that gray and black tank hose. Place to keep it isolated from everything else in the motorhome. Water compartment. Now this is, the new, well it was new in 2022. So we have the stainless steel water compartment. Now all of our writing on here is etched on so you don't have to worry about a sticker coming off and you forgetting what, this, what each feature does. Hot and cold exterior shower, water hose inlet reel. So instead of having to carry a hose, it's just built in. We're gonna use that for either tank fill or city water. Hot and cold low point drains for winterizing, water pump on and off, whole house water filter, uh, fill valve, black tank rinse, and then electric dump valves for your gray and black tank. Gray and black tank hose is gonna hook up right here. 
but the gates are back in their little ways. On the Newmar Superstar, we do come standard with a Onan 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator that is going to pull directly off of the 100 gallons of diesel fuel this coach is equipped with. Next compartment, six or eight six volt batteries. Now these are 100 amp hours each, so 800 amp hours total of battery power. Those batteries are on a tray, so you can actually pull them out to you. So if you're going to change them yourself, pull them out to you rather than trying to get a 60 pound battery up into that compartment. Here we have the Oasis Chinook system that is going to be our heat as well as hot water. Now the cool thing about Oasis systems is they're going to use either diesel fuel or electricity to provide you your heat and hot water. Right now I actually have it running on diesel fuel, but really it just gives you some flexibility. You know, if you have electricity available, you can save your fuel. If you don't have it, you not you can still have heat and hot water. Next to that, we also have the hydraulic pump. So that is your HWH hydraulic pump. That's going to run your jacks and your steps on this particular coach. And then last compartment in here to the very left, we have the auto transfer switch. So that's going to change what our power source is, whether it be shore power or generator. We have a 50 amp, or 50 amp, 50 foot shore power cord on a reel. So that's going to be a manual extend. Just pull on it and then power retract. And the button's over here. So manual extend, power retract. Again, 50 amp and 50 feet long. And then we also have a Magnum 2800 watt inverter to give us some AC power when we're out boondocking. So what that's gonna do is take the 12 volt DC power from the batteries, invert it to 110 volt AC power to give us power to our outlets inside, the microwave, the refrigerator, that kind of stuff. So Newmar Superstar, one of two coaches in the industry that are incorporating a full air ride cab. The only other one is the Newmar Supreme Air. So this whole cab is actually floating to give you a little bit more comfortable ride while you're driving down the road. And I haven't done this in a while, so let's just open this up and take a look right here. So in conjunction with the air ride cab, we also have the air ride seat. So here's our controls for that. As you can see, it's going up. Basically all I'm doing is filling an airbag underneath that seat to raise it up. It also bounces a little bit, takes some of the shock out of bumps in the road. And then when we're ready to be lower, just hold it, let it drain all the air, and it'll start to drop slowly. We also have two controls here for lumbar support. Those are also going to be airbags in the back of the seat. Shock absorber here so that if, um, it, that's just gonna prevent the seat from bottoming out when you hit bigger bumps. And then heated seats as well. All right, moving forward. So the Newmar Superstar is built on the Freightliner M2106 chassis. It is going to be powered by a Cummins ISL it is a 9 liter Cummins. On the back side of that Cummins, we have an Allison 3200 TRV transmission. That is a six speed automatic transmission. This is going to produce 1,150 foot pounds of torque, 360 horsepower, and as I said earlier, 20,000 pound towing capacity. Now, one thing that people like about Super C's is safety. The other thing is they're a little bit easier to work on. So, if you're the kind of person to do your own maintenance, we've got our fuel water separator right here, very easy to get to power steering fluid not that you should ever have to do much with that engine oil fill is going to be up on the top of the block there and then engine oil dipstick easy to access coming around to the other side so up top here coolant down below washer fluid for your wind windshield and then your air dryer so that's basically your pre-trip inspection on, on the engine side, um, checking all those, engine oil, coolant, power steering fluid, uh, washer fluid, make sure that you're ready to go. And Freightliner does a great job of making it easy, quick walk around, um, quick walk around and you're on the road. Another thing that I really love is Freightliner does do a gas prop assisted hood. So as you can see, I just flipped it up and then push it the rest of the way down rather than having it slam closed like you see on some of the older trucks. Now we're going to come back over here for just a second. 
The stock number for this coach is 5N211801. Again, 2023 Newmar Superstar 4065. This coach is available today at the Fountain location. Here's another one of our cameras. So if we're pulling into a campground, you know, a tighter spot, you can kick that camera on on the dash. That way you can see exactly what's going on in front of the coach. You know, when you get into some tight maneuvering stuff and rocks and nonsense, it's nice to be able to see everything around you. I think at this point, we're ready to go inside. So one thing I do absolutely love about the Newmar Superstar is it does come standard with the HWH hydraulic triple step. So when I open this door, step comes down nice and low so I don't have that big initial step. Now when I actually level this coach out, that step will drop about another inch to get it even closer to the ground. As we walk in here, I do have our slide outs completely closed at this time just so you can see the space while you're in transit. Now the 4065 is a family model, does have a bunkhouse in here. So access to the dinette from the cab, pretty easy. Um, I would say you probably have about nine to 10 inches right here and that's going to be our tightest point inside of this coach. Coming back, pantry microwave is no problem refrigerator is no problem little side step here to get into the bathroom and then access to the bunks as well so actually pretty good access in here for a super c and we'll go ahead and open them up now walk through the rest of the coach So a couple things we didn't talk about on the outside while we open these slides up. Up on the roof, we do have two 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps built into them. Now, instead of having ducted air conditionings, the traditional style of ducted air conditionings, Numar does it a little bit different and does these louvers instead of having holes all over your ceiling. What this does though, the functional purpose of this is when these slides are in, the air is being dumped down in between the two slides rather than on top of them. So if someone's sitting back here and you're driving down the road, you can fire that generator up, turn on your air conditionings, and they can actually be comfortable back here getting the full use of those air conditionings. Other thing, we do have 100 gallons of diesel fuel. Now on the Freightliner M2106, it is saddle tanks. So you have one on the left, one on the right. You fill them, or you pull into a truck stop and fill it from both sides. You do want to do that. It does have a transfer line in between the two tanks, but it's not the fastest thing in the world. So it's a little bit easier just to go ahead and fill at a truck stop using dual side fuel fill. All right, that's fully extended in the front. Come to the back. So Jody, if you want to go up to the front and just get kind of a full view shot of the coach once I get this all the way opened up. All right, so that is everything completely open. So D4065 is a triple slide bunk model. <clears throat> One thing I do really love about this coach is there is a ton of living space here in the center once we get these slides opened up. Go ahead and drop these down. <clears throat> Now there are options. If you're looking at placing an order, we can change out couches, we can do different dinettes. Um, there's plenty of options to make sure that this coach is going to fit your lifestyle. This particular one does have the jackknife sofa. So, drop this down. So, jackknife sleeper there. Pretty decent size, I mean, you could pretty easily have two people sleep right there. Um, just for reference, I'm about six feet tall, so if I can sleep there, most people can. 
and then we do have the option in this particular coach for the two storage ottomans so underneath here a little bit of storage as well as if we flip the top over you get kind of a hard surface here if you want to set your drink on there you know play a game you absolutely can but nice comfortable seating position doubles as a bed across from the couch we do have the euro booth dinette so it does extend about 24 inches to add additional sitting seating space there's two chairs that are folded up underneath the bed right now for additional seating space while you're eating dinner or you do have a backrest so this is a great place to kind of lounge inside of the coach as well storage up above the dinette all the way across the top and then here in the center we have an AV compartment. So if you're going to put a satellite on the coach, the tech that's going to install it is going to run all of our wiring right in here for your satellite receiver. These two HDMI cords are actually pre-wired to the TV, which I'm going to put up right now, to this 50-inch Samsung HD TV. One second here. So I want to show this on the, my phone here. So one really cool thing about the new 2023 new Mars Superstars is now we have app control for the coach. So from here, I'm going to go ahead, TV lift up. And away it goes. Now with that, we can also control lights, our HVAC system to warm it up, cool it down as well as see all of our tank levels this is what your interface is going to look like for your hvac so right now i have the furnace on it is dual zone control so living room bedroom just select it home screen tank levels now in this screen we can also turn on and off the water pump fill the tank or top it off as well as turn on your tank heat pads motors which is going to be your tv lift on this particular coach and then lights so my favorite, all lights off, all lights on. If I can actually hit it. So, pretty cool, new for 2023, something we've seen in other coaches. Newmar did decide to join that crowd, and it's actually been working pretty well. What I've noticed in some of the other manufacturers is their app controls have been a little bit glitchy, but in the 2023 Newmar, so far, pretty solid. Going back to this side, above the couch, nice big storage. Now, I want to point out all of our Newmar storage cabinets are going to be carpet lined on the bottom. That keeps things from sliding around and rattling while you're in transit. Keep from driving yourself nuts with additional noise inside the coach. Coming back into the kitchen, flip up countertop extension. Just for a little extra prep, prep space storage across across the top and then whirlpool 1.7 cubic foot convection microwave down below our solid surface countertop first and foremost cutting boards built into your stovetop covers which is just a nice feature something you don't have to worry about remembering to pack as you're getting ready for your trips two burner true induction cooktop and it is removable so if you want to cook outside just pop it out walk outside with it plug it in outside there's six open outlets out there so there is power available plug it in and you're cooking and then when you're done just drop it back into place and you're back to cooking inside to the right of that two bowl stainless steel undermount sink nice and big does give you the ability to have one full of soapy water and the other one you're doing your dishes in or this coach does have the option for the dishwasher in a drawer now if you ordered a coach and it didn't have this option you would get two additional drawers about the same size as this one a little bit bigger because this is kind of your cutlery drawer 
So in here right now, we're going to have all of our remotes, manual stuff, touch-up paint. All the Numar stuff does come in that drawer. To the right of that, four very nice deep drawers. Now, every drawer in this coach is going to be stock closing. So you don't have to worry about people kind of slamming them, causing damage, that kind of thing. And then huge cabinet down below the countertop with the trash can kind of spot there so there's actually a spot that's going to hold that trash can in place so you don't have to worry about it sliding around or uh, making a mess underneath your cabinet opposite of the cooktop we have a whirlpool 19.7 cubic foot whirlpool or whirlpool 19 cu 19.7 cubic foot residential refrigerator now this is going to be a very efficient refrigerator even though it is electric only and the only thing we have to have on to run it is going to be that inverter that we talked about down below. So people get a little nervous with these, thinking they have to run the generator or be plugged in at all times. It's not the case. You can absolutely run this um, off of the battery power. Now you will have to run the generator or be plugged in to charge the generator or charge the batteries. Or while you're running down the road, the alternator for the coach is also charging the batteries. Up above, another very big storage compartment. And then opposite of the refrigerator, we have the pantry with six pull-out drawers. So they do lock into place at the back. And all we're gonna do, push them in, and then push them a little bit farther, and they're gonna lock. These drawers are adjustable up and down as needed. And then with this being a bunkhouse, we have some additional storage here for the people in the bunks. So hanging storage, some shelves in the back, and then more drawers. Again, they do lock into place. Down below the bunks, we also get two really deep drawers for additional wardrobe for the people in the bunks. And then the bunks themselves are 30 inches wide by 72 inches long. Does come with a built-in ladder, or removable ladder, I should say. Capacity for the top bunk is 250 pounds, so you have to keep that in mind. Each bunk does have an opening window, a reading light, and two or two different power sources. So we have a 110 volt outlet in there, as well as two 12 volt USBs. So if you need to charge your phone, iPad while you're sleeping, you can absolutely do that in the bunks. And then the little net on the side to store those items while you're sleeping. Opposite of the bunks is going to be the bathroom. So mid bath on the 4065 floor plan, really big shower, 39 by 29 shower with the seat. So if you need to sit down while you're taking a shower or pop your leg up there, shave your legs, absolutely have that ability. In here, we also have the shower miser system. Basically what that's gonna do is recirculate the cold water from the lines back into the freshwater tank and bring hot water up to the top. So that Oasis Chinook system is a true on-demand hot water, and we're not gonna waste any water waiting for the water from the Chinook system to get up here. We're just gonna recirculate it back into the tanks. Rain style shower head, as well as the wand, which is adjustable up and down as needed, and a little bit of storage in there. This bait, or shower door does lock here on the outside to keep it from rattling around and causing damage while you're in transit. Nice big medicine cabinet. More toiletry storage, two 110 volt outlets up there so you have power available if needed. And then Numar does things just a little bit different by putting our fuses and circuit breakers in this cabinet where they're nice and easy to access. Now over here, these are gonna be all of our 12 volt fuses and they're labeled right here to make your life easier. You're not searching for things. And then up and to the right, we have our circuit breakers for our 110 volt system, which is going to be like our refrigerator, air conditioning, inverter, that kind of stuff. And then storage down below. More toiletry storage. And then more storage down below the sink. Now, those two black things you see down at the bottom here, these are going to be our connections for our central vacuum system. So the one to the left 
is going to be where we plug that hose in and that hose is long enough to reach anywhere in the coach and then the one to the right it's not going to turn on but yeah this so that is a sweep point so if we actually sweep all the dirt in this coach to there it will suck it all out for us pretty nice system to have makes cleaning this up a lot easier keep heading back and that's going to bring us to the bedroom of the 4065 so 72 by 80 radius corner king bed with storage underneath so right now we're going to see those two 12 inch leafs for the dinette as well as the two folding chairs back up above the bed more storage two 110 volt outlets in there if you need power there's also going to be a hole on either side so if you need to run cords down from those outlets to the bed we can absolutely do that there's also going to be two switch plates underneath there now from those you can do things like turn on and off your lights start and stop your generator turn on and off your water pump without having to get out of bed the other thing that I noticed that I really like on this one is there is another switch stack there and that one's gonna be your exterior security lights so let's say you're laying in bed you hear noise over on this side of the coach you can actually turn on your exterior security lights and see what's going on out there without ever having to get out of bed windows on either side if you like that cross breeze ventilation it is standard on the superstar 4065 and then with this being a bunk model we also have a huge closet here going across the back this coach does have the option for the safe built into the wall and then right next to the closet we do get the Splendid stacked washer and dryer. This is an option on the Superstar, so if you would rather have the storage, if we're ordering you a coach, we could have the, or we could leave this out. Or if you want to buy this coach, we can also remove it for you. Completely up to you. On the opposite side of the bed, so another AV compartment here. So that is going to be, again, satellite, or if you're going to put a Blu-ray, DVD player, that kind of thing. Another... 43 inch Samsung HD smart TV. Again, we can connect it to the internet, connect it to our streaming services. Storage. And then going across the bottom, we have six drawers for additional wardrobe. Very deep drawers. And again, all soft closing. And floor plan wise, I think that's about it on this 2023 Newmar Superstar. So let's talk about some things that are new. So here in the center, we now have this KIV panel. So this is going to be our coach controls. We used to have them up above the, uh, not all the coach controls, but most of them. So we used to keep them up above the step, but this is a little bit more user friendly. So here at the home screen, we're going to be looking at our water levels, battery levels, and just a couple options. Now, each of these things that are on here are going to be broken down in our farther tab. So we're going to start with lights. So in here, we can turn on and off all our lights. Or let's just say someone's sleeping in the bedroom, you want to be working in the kitchen, you can do each light or each zone of lights individually as well. Bluetooth pairing, that's how we're going to connect to our phone, like I showed you earlier. HVAC, so this is going to use the furnace or air conditionings. And then AGS, that is going to be our auto gen start. So basically what we can do here is say if our batteries get too low or it gets too hot in here, we can have that generator kick on, charge the batteries, or turn on the air conditioning and start cooling the coach down. Really useful if you have a pet in here, you know, let's just say you lost power, you were away from the coach, your pet's in here. We can have that set up so that if it gets too hot, it turns on the air conditioning and cools the coach down, keep from uh, cooking your pets. Up above the door, still have some more coach controls here. So down here on the left side, battery disconnect, entry door lock, it's gonna be right here. And then very important on the 2023 Superstar, we do have power locking bay doors. So we can lock and unlock those from in here. Step cover, now this is a great feature that Newmar does. Not many Super C manufacturers are doing it, but it's actually gonna cover up the footwell. So again, if we have pets in here and we're traveling down the road, we can close that off so that they don't, you know, you hit a bump, they don't fall down in there, or people as well. 
block heater on and off, patio lights, security lights, slide out controls, the controls for that Oasis Chinook system. Now I want to talk about this panel. Up here we have three different options for how we can run that Oasis system. So what I'm running on right now is going to be burner so I'm actually using diesel fuel to warm this coach up. The other option we have is AC1 to the left or AC2 to the right. So AC1 and 2, so let's start over here. So the uh, that Oasis Chinook system has two 900 watt electric elements inside of it that are going to provide you heat. You can run them individually, so you can run AC1 or you can run AC1 and 2, just depending on how cold it is and what your demand is. And then if it's really cold or you want to take a long shower, you turn on the burner and it'll heat up water continuously with no issues. Power control system, this is going to tell us where we're drawing our power from as well as what is powered by it. Control panel for your magnet inverter, so on and off and it'll also tell you some of your power draws. So it'll tell you how many amps you're using at any given time. Remember we have six 100 or eight 100 amp hour batteries for 800 amp hours total. Moving up into the cab. Absolutely love this. More storage up above the driver and passenger seat as well as a big bonded window here. Now with this bonded window we do have a cover or a shade that'll drop down to keep the light out if you're trying to sleep during the day or just don't want it to heat up the coach. More storage. And last but not least, over on the left side, even more storage. And then dropping down into the cab of this new Mars Superstar. So not a whole lot to talk about in here. The Freightliner M2106 chassis is pretty easy um, to understand. So over on my left side, we're gonna have our cruise control settings. So we have a master cruise control on and off. And then over here, we have a set, set coast, resume, accelerate. Headlights on and off. Now in 2022, they did upgrade the headlights to a nice LED headlight. Um, which this does have, or marker lights if you go down with it. Over here, marker light interruption. So this is going to flash all of your marker lights on the coach. If someone's, you know, if a truck's passing you or something, you want to let them know that they're clear, just up with that, it'll flash them for, for you. Engine brake control, the freight, or the Newmar Superstar does come with a two-stage engine brake. Oops, break this up. So up is high, down is low and then in the center is off. Touchpad for our six speed automatic transmission. So drive, neutral, reverse. And then the mode switch switches from economy to performance mode. So basically if you go to performance mode, you're gonna get 300 more RPMs before it shifts. Up and down arrows are going to be your manual shifting. If you're driving through the mountains and you think you can do better, um, you can absolutely do it by yourself. Power windows, mirror heat for your cold and foggy days. Power locks for the coach parking brake light test now this switch is a very fun one um, if you are gonna be towing a trailer all you do is press it and it's gonna run through all the light functions of the coach now you can just stand here and walk around and it's just gonna turn your blinkers on turn your blinkers off hazards headlights on tail lights on um, it just runs through all of your lights um, makes it really easy at, while you're doing your pre-trip to get going uh, differential lock for the rear axle get both tires turning the same speed and that's really only going to be used for those really slippery conditions you know a big snowstorm but you can lock those up and get additional traction camera select switch so that's how we're going to cycle through our cameras shade up and down for the pan or the big bottom window up above us and then this switch here is a suspension dump for the rear suspension so if we hit that it's actually going to drop the airbags um, on the rear and lower us down a little bit Parked regen switch, something most people don't have to use, but if you were ever just idling your coach and you need to do a regeneration, you could hold that for five seconds. It starts its regen. Generator start and stop. Docking lights, which is rearward facing lights to help us get into campgrounds at night. And then cab ceiling lights, which is just dome lights. Up here on the radio, AM, FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM. And we also have built-in Navigo navigation. 
So what's cool about Navigo Navigation is you can actually program the parameters of this motorhome and it won't take you down roads that you won't be able to make it down. So we know we're 40 feet, 11 inches long. We know we are 13 feet high. So we'll set all those parameters before you ever take this coach and then you will never have to worry about be being navigated down a road that you can't make it. Going back, we'll go to camera controls. So right here, we're looking at the rear camera. Now, as I mentioned on the back, we do have the hitch camera. So what that does is zooms in. If I had a hitch back there, you'd be able to see the ball to help us line ourselves up with the trailer better. Horizon, which is going to be the taller or the higher rear camera. 360, which integrates all the cameras together to give us this kind of bird's eye view. So this camera view is 360 as well as straight out the left side, straight out the right side. Uh, straight out the left side in 360. Straight out the right side in 360. And then straight out the front in 360. So right now we're looking at that video van right in front of us. And then rear focus, which is going to give us a good, if we're back and straight up, it gives us a good kind of indication of where we are in, in relation to how far away we are from it front focus and then top and rear again and then if we put it in reverse there we go so if we put it in reverse we actually get a little bit more wide angle lens as well as the guidelines so that we know how far we are away from whatever's behind us and I think that's pretty much going to wrap up the walkthrough of this coach um, if you have any questions about this coach please feel free to give the fountain boys a call Again, they are both very knowledgeable salesmen. Uh, their name are Na names are Nathan Clark and Tony Martinez. And you can always give me a call as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you.